Hey Robert, this is Jeff again with Zucker Marketing. Thank you so much for making time to talk with me earlier. And as promised, here's your website analysis. I'll be going over a few things that can actually help you rank higher, bring you more traffic, and of course, get you more customers. So let's go ahead and start off with your website. You do have a pretty great website. Um, you have your logo here, call to action, pretty good fonts, nice layout, great pictures, and you also have client testimonials, which is perfect. So there's just some few other things that we're gonna get over first to make sure we get you on top of the search list. One thing I can actually tell you right off the bat is that Google loves content. Google would like to see a minimum of 1500 words on a homepage. And in addition to that, the more content you'll have, the more you look like an expert in Google's eyes. So of course, if you'd want to beat out the competition, you really would like to get 1,500 or more words. So let's go ahead and do a quick count as to how many words we have on our homepage. So I'll use a word counter. All right, perfect. So we have 2,164 words, which is actually way beyond the um, minimum words that we need. So let me also discuss one more thing. Um, and it's about keywords. Google is actually looking for keywords. It's looking for what the site should be found for. So if you have the exact words listed multiple times on your website, you're going to be really relevant for this search. And Google is, of course, willing to put you higher in the result. So what I did was I searched for the roofing um, in your area, which is Nashville, Tennessee. Um, we'll be discussing more about the results here. So let's start off with the sponsored ones. So this were, these are actually the paid ones wherein people are paying ads for. So we're not going to be talking much about this, but rather we'll move on to the next part. So this is what we call the map path. And this is something wherein you really would like to be on since these are the ones that gets a lot of traffic and they're the ones who's easier to find. And one way for you to be here is you need to have Google My Business profile where you'll enter as much information as you can, like the company name, phone number, email, company address, hours of operation, photos, and so on and so forth. And of course, in addition to that, if you put the same information in as many directories as you can, like on Yelp, Yellow Pages, Angie.com, so on and so forth, that will help you a lot to appear in the map pack. And the next part we'll be discussing are the organic searches. So these are the website that ranks higher without people paying for any ads just because they're doing some certain things. And that's what we're actually going to talk about. I pulled up one of your top competitors in your area. We'll be comparing your website and we'll see what they're doing differently. So based on their website, you actually have a better website. Well, they do have testimonials as well. They have great photos, nice layout. But let's see what they're doing differently. So this is Ahrefs. This is one of the paid tools that we use to see, or first to, you know, have some information on the back end of your website. We'll be discussing more about the numbers here. So let's start with DR. So DR is actually the level of trust that Google has in your website. And then UR would be the strength of your website. Backlinks, on the other hand, this or other website that refers back to your website. So they're like shoutouts through different directories like Yellow Pages, Yelp, and Alive. All right, so we'll be comparing the numbers with your competitors. So this is their website. So if you can see, you actually have a much stronger website since you have more numbers under PR and UR. You also have more numbers under backlinks. However, their edge is actually um with their keywords if you can see they're getting 1100 traffic on using their keywords so let's go ahead and talk more about the keywords all right so these are actually all the keywords they have listed on their website so when customers search for this specific words their website their website shows on top of the list and if you check the numbers these are actually all the hits or clicks that they're getting every month. So let's use one keyword as an example. So with the keyword roofing company in Nashville, this actually got 300 clicks in a month, as well as with roofing Nashville. 
So this one got 500, then another 500. So you're actually seeing now the importance of keywords on a website. Let me show you another trick. This is what we call hidden keywords. So let's use this image for as an example. So if we save this photo, and then instead of naming it with a generic file name, you can actually rename it into a hidden keyword, like roofing in Nashville, best roofing in Nashville, Tennessee, something like that. And if you do the same thing on the other photos, you'll create um, more hidden keywords. Not only that, of course, those words won't be repetitive on your website as well. Um, so just to wrap things up, the main focus that we'll actually do for us to, you know, boost more customers, bring you more traffic, will be getting you the right keywords on your website. So that's actually pretty much it for me. If you have any other further questions, don't hesitate to call us back or email us back so that we can tell you the next steps and the other things that we can do. Thank you so much for your time. You have a wonderful day. Bye.